Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with some MLB 2K12 in my player mode with Timmy Timmons. Now I apologize if this is the first video you've watched today. Yesterday I meant to post the franchise mode with the Detroit Tigers and I didn't get a chance to do that. So there's actually two videos going up today. This of course is one. So if you want to watch the Tigers and the White Sox play each other, then go back to the channel and you guys can watch the game that I posted earlier. That actually should be the first one that I post today, is that one. But, anyway, of course, Timmy Timmons now with the New York Mets playing center field, which may be a surprise to some of you if this is your first time seeing me play center field. Now, you guys like the change. You guys mentioned that the camera is terrible. I agree with you. But I guess I'll endure through it. All right, so a couple cool things have happened since the last video I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Um, some of you know that I'm kind of going on this health kick right now, just trying to be as healthy as possible. So what I did is I stopped drinking soda altogether and caffeine, and that's actually been kind of nice. Now at first, I was like, all right, well, I'll try and use Snapple as a way to kind of get through it because that's all I really had at work. But now I've even gotten off that, and I'm just drinking straight-up Gatorade. That's like all I drink now. So with me kind of going on this health thing a little bit, you know, I work out um, at work, which is kind of nice to be able to do that. You know, I just work out, shower, and then go to work. Makes it easy. But today my wife and I, we bought a treadmill, and I'm excited about that. It's like my first expensive piece of workout equipment. You know, people have got pull-up bars. They may have weights that they found at a garage sale or something like that, but... Man, we paid a lot for this treadmill, so I'm excited about it. So it kind of helped me keep going through, doing what I'm doing, trying to be healthy. And I know some of you have kind of decided to be a little bit more healthy too, as if I like inspired you guys. I don't know if inspired is necessarily the right word, but hey, it helps me out. You know, not drinking soda or caffeine or anything like that. Like, I have a lot more energy, which is weird because I used to think energy, caffeine, they kind of go hand in hand. Well, the first week without caffeine, I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I just need some caffeine to get through this. But after that week, it was fine. I sleep a lot better now. I don't know. I don't get tired as easily. It's, it's just nice not to be on all that. So treadmill's kind of cool. We get it tomorrow. We'll get it set up. Um, I know some of you kind of already knew that, but I'll put some pictures up. It'll be sweet. Um, also, too, here's something else I kind of wanted to go over. Um, thank you so much for your guys' concern. Uh, what happened is a couple days ago, I live in Nebraska, and I don't know if you guys saw on the news. I mean, of course it's big here, but if you like live in New York or something, you probably don't hear about tornadoes taking place in Nebraska. But um, here in Lincoln, you know, we had the tornado sirens going off, and I was posting it on Twitter with a video. Just like with the sirens going off, with the lightning and the thunder, the rains, the winds, all of that. And some of you guys were legitimately concerned about me. And that was actually awesome. Because like, you know, sometimes when you see people on YouTube or I'm not saying I am one or anything like that. But just using this as a reference. You know, like a celebrity, something happens to him and you're just like, whatever. I know I'm that way, which is probably horrible. I mean, I should probably really be concerned about what happens with everybody. But... Um, you know, people are actually like worried. They're like, oh, Dunbar, are you okay? Like, hopefully everything you know kind of goes past you, which was cool. That was kind of kind of nice that you guys really do care about what happens. Um, everything was totally fine. Like here in Nebraska, this stuff happens all the time. Like tornadoes is just a part of life here. Uh, best way I can think about it is like, let's say you live on the West Coast and you live in California. You know. Earthquakes there happen. You know it. It's not usually a big deal when an earthquake happens. Of course, every once in a while, there's a huge one that takes place that really affects you. But, you know, like a 3.0 or something like that, not so much. You know, it just shakes. And then you're like, whatever. That's like what tornadoes are to us. Or I guess, you know, hurricanes for some people. You know, hurricanes happen. You know that. Not always does it do devastating damage to you. But it has the potential to do it. So, um... Maybe that kind of puts it into more perspective on what it's like for us with tornadoes. It just happens. We're not necessarily too worried about it. Plus, the tornado was like seven miles out of town. So, 
with that kind of distance, it was totally all right that I was outside. I mean, what my sister-in-law and I did is as soon as we saw the signs, we just went out to the porch and we started taking a look, seeing if we could find it. Because I've only actually seen one tornado on the ground in my entire life. And that was kind of creepy, but at the same time, kind of cool. So I'm always trying to see if I can see another one. Of course, if it's like right above me, I'm not going to go outside or anything. But just want to let you guys know, yes, I am fine. No problems. Not a scratch on me, my wife, or anything that we own. That's all right. All right, third inning. We haven't really gotten that far in the game. It's taken a while for us to get through three innings. This is crazy. High fly ball, 16 feet. I can just mosey on over to this one. What? That one going to the wall. I'm going to chase it down. Rounding second. Rounding third. Coming home. Inside the park home run. All right. So I was saying the camera was bad. I believed it. Now I think it's just absolutely terrible. That's ridiculous. Now, here's the thing. I understand 2K Sports, what they're trying to do. Of course, they put the camera behind you. So you kind of get the feeling that it's like really you on the field. But if I'm running backwards, why would the camera be forwards then? I can't think of any rational reason why 2K Sports would keep the camera forward. Or at least just have some different kind of angle when it pops up so I can see where I'm going. Now I know that they had this in 2K11. I know they had this in 2K10 too. That's something that they didn't change. So what I did is after this, I went ahead and I took a look, and it's a lot of people have been saying that it's a terrible, terrible camera for a couple years now, and 2K Sports has done nothing. Now, I never said I was a fan of 2K Sports, but I'm really starting to greatly dislike them. And how is it that that one I can just die for, stick my hand out, but if I'm standing right underneath it, I can't do the equivalent. Anyway, I'm going to let it go. I don't want to dwell on it. I mean, we're up 4-1 to one right now. It's still in the fifth inning. Wow, we have eight hits. Our teams would do a pretty good. Usually, we don't hit that many in one game. So, the fact that we have eight is pretty nice. And this is flattering. Rockies felt like it would be a smart call to walk me. Now, with my batting average, I'm not really a threat. But when you take a look at Tejada after me, contact 59, power 37. That might have been a smart call. I don't know. I mean, with two outs, too. It's, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, but that's all right. I get on base. I get a few skill points for this, which is going to help me out overall with the attributes and just, you know, be able to build myself up. So I'm not going to complain. I'm going to enjoy this being on base. Who knows? Maybe something will happen here, too. Now, I guess that also helps me because if I had gotten an out, that would have brought my batting average down. And that's my main focus right now is getting my batting average up. I don't like being in the low 200s. Now, of course, I'm trying to play this on a more difficult level than what a lot of other people play on. So that's kind of normal for this. You know, of course, just coming out of the minors, going into the majors, I'm not going to be batting 400 or anything like that. That'd be crazy if somebody did that. Anyway, I'm getting really paranoid with fielding in center field now, or I'm just getting really nervous. Because I missed one earlier and got that inside, and they got the inside the park home run. That's their only run thus far, but I don't want that to happen again. So I have to travel a lot greater distances now than just the 16 feet or whatever it was that I had to go earlier. All right, so eighth inning now, still of course four to one. Ah, uh, ground ball, double play, not cool. One of the things that you want to do when you're looking at the whole career, of course, in my player. You want to get to the Hall of Fame, and one of the things that help you get to the Hall of Fame is by being Rookie of the Year. If I keep playing like this, I'm not going to make Rookie of the Year. You have to have so many at-bats and stuff like that, so I'm going to be able to hit that since there's really only one month left in the game. All right, so that is going to be the last highlight from this game here. So we end up coming away with the win, 4-2. to two. That's nice because we were on a four-game losing streak. We end up breaking it. So I appreciate you guys watching. More Timmy Timmons, of course, in the next couple days. Remember, go back and watch the franchise mode if you guys want to, uh, which will be posted right before this. You guys are awesome. You really are. Subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a good one.